Okay, so I'm going to skill test Robin real quick. Is that cool? I get out of the car, you get out of the car. Hit me at the trial clothes, ask me to buy the vehicle. Okay, listen to me. Can you kill this objection right now? Yes or no? Yes. Well, you're not, though. What could I say to him that could guarantee that I could advance the cell forward every single time? You want to see me do it? I swear to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a business. Don't limit, I'm going to get it. Okay, you guys are going to start being the example. Who's the leader in here? Raise your hand. Everybody raise your freaking hand right now. Everybody, raise it high. Mm -hmm. You're all leaders. Okay, hey, right here in the blue shirt. You a leader? Yeah. Okay, why aren't you looking at me in the eyes? Come here. Come here. Let's go through something real quick. Give him a little round of applause. Let's go. Right. Hey, Robin, let me ask you a question. How long have you been selling for? Uh, a year and a half. A year and a half. Why aren't you looking at me in the eyes? You distracted? You thinking about something else? What are you thinking about? What were you thinking about? <laughs> but you weren't looking at me, so you were just looking at the wall over here. That's the problem. You guys get it? Yep. Yes, sir. That's the problem. I'm in here talking to him. Robin, how old are you? 21. At 21 years old, I was making 500 grand a year selling cars. Robin, you making 500 grand? No. Robin, would you like to? Yes. Robin, you're sitting in that chair right now. I can envision it being 21 years old. If I was having somebody that came in and had this meeting with me, I'd be pissed off saying, hey, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. I'm ready. I'm coachable. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for work. Yep. Tell me what to do. Right, Robin? Okay, so I'm going to skill test Robin real quick. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how I train. Is that cool? All right, so here we go. Robin, me and you go on a test drive on a 2018 Nissan Altima. We get off the test drive. We're in front of the building. It's right there, okay? I get out of the car. You get out of the car. Hit me at the trial clothes. Ask me to buy the vehicle. Yes, sir. So how do you like the vehicle? Nice car. Nice car. What do you think about it? What do you think about the drive, the features and everything? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Okay. Well, um, I did want to ask you um, a few questions there. Um, I see that you like the vehicle and everything. So why don't you come inside, we'll take a look at it, give you some more information on it. Robin, I appreciate it. I need to think about it. What was it that you needed to think about? I just want to think about it. Whether the price, color, car, whether it need. I just want to think. Yeah, see? What's his job? Advanced his job's to advance itself forward. Would you agree? Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes. 100%. Ups, test drives, write up, closes. Am I correct? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. What's the next step after the test drive? Mm -hmm. Get What's the next step after the test drive? The trial right. closed. The trial Inside. closed, which he did, and I said no. I said I need to think about it. What is his job? To get me to the write up. Would yep. you agree? Inside, yep. To get numbers in front of you. Yep. To get numbers in front of you, because eighty percent of the deals that end up on paper end up buying. Now listen, does he have a word track to overcome I need to think about it? Yes or no? <coughs> his word track that he used was what do you need to think about? Now can I ask you a question? Does his job to get into this on the lot or is his job to advance itself forward? I've made it into the dealership. I just test drove a vehicle. He said, Do you like the car? I said, Yeah. And then he said, Hey, would you like to own it if the deal is right? And then I said, I need to think about it. It. Shouldn't we be thinking about it on paper? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Isn't that? A, but are we on paper? No. no. Why? You know why? Because there's two types of salespeople. There's amateurs that use their mouth like a machine gun. They just spray words and hope something sticks. Okay. Literally every single time. And then there's snipers. What could I say to him that could guarantee that I could advance the sell forward every single time? You want to see me do it? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Yes. Tell me anything about it. I think it's really nice. No, no, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, yes, hey, hey if I get the numbers 110% of your satisfaction, would you be happy to take the car home? Yes, sir. No, no, say, say anything no, about it. No, He's like a laid out. I'm like, <laughs> 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 He's got the last two years. Are right. right. right, you ready? But hey, but say, I need to think about it. I need to think about it. Listen, Robin, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What yeah. I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Yeah. That's it. Watch. What did I say to him? Course you, you said I need to think about it. What did I say? Of course, of course, course you need to think about it. Yeah. I said I haven't given you enough information not, not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers so that way at least when you go home you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Did I get that for you? Did notice my hand went right in his chest? Now when he goes inside, what am I going to do? It's very simple. I'm going to say hypothetically, Rob, when you are ready to buy, how do you want your new car titled? Also, that's the car you're going to be trading outside. Is that correct? Okay, awesome. Now I know you got a payment on the vehicle outside. Is that right? Cool, let me go ahead and grab the keys to the trade. Also, I know that payment's gonna be important on the new vehicle, so, so I can get the payment to the penny on the new vehicle, I'm gonna get two seconds of information. Is that cool? I'll get you everything, and in the end, it's your decision. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Okay, what do I have? 
trade appraisal, credit write app. up sheet, credit app, keys to his trade. He buy it. He's buying a car. He's buying a car. He's down the rabbit hole now. He's I have there. all his information. He's, He's buying a there. car. He's Am I there. right? He's in there. Okay, I'm going to grab you right now. He's come on. There. Let's rotate. Now listen. Yeah, come on. Come Hold on. on. Come You're going to stay right here, Robin. Robin. Give it up for our man. What's your name? Mike. 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 All right, cool. Here we go. Ready? What's your name? Mike. Mike, here we go. We're on a test drive. We're standing in front of the building, right? Okay, hit me the trial clothes. Ask me to buy it. We just got off test drive. So what do you think about the car? It's a nice car. Yeah? Yeah. Tell you what. We're going to go inside real quick. I'm going to give you all the information on the car. Take about five, ten minutes. Um, after that, you can, you know, you can make your mind up from there. But, um, you know, we're here. We're here now. Let's... No, I'm out of practice. I don't sell cars. I buy cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of practice. I'm out of practice. I'm out of practice. You can do it. Hit him with the buyer objection. I'll buy it. Hey, do a buyer objection. No, no, no. I got it. Let's turn it up. All right, listen. Guys, I told Daryl. Hey, he still Darryl. was willing to do it. Hey, I told you. Hey, guys. Guys, you think Daryl can close me, yes or no? Yeah. Is he good? Is he good? Everybody say good, great, unstoppable. Good, great, unstoppable. He better be unstoppable to shut him down because I'm going to get his all right, here we go. Yeah, hey, you ready? All right, we're back from the test right. drive. No, here we go. Get off the test drive. Yeah. You just closed me. It's very simple. This is just doing your job. All right. You get off the test drive. Hit me the trial clothes. Ask me to buy. All right, what do you think about it? Nice car. What do you plan on going on your first trip in this car? <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure yet. Really? Yeah. All right. Um, are you ready to proceed forward? Um, no, I've actually got. Look, this is the Nissan Altima 2018. I was looking at it. There's two more. I actually, want to go see before I make a final decision. So I'm gonna go check those out. And I'll get back with you. I respect that. So I'm gonna give you some information that you can use to compare this car versus those cars. Follow me. Yeah, I just want to go check out these two. If I could just get your card, then I'll get back with you after seeing them. I just want to. No see problem. Them. Follow me. My card's at my desk. Okay, let's. So I go to your desk now. What? Great. Hey, before you leave, I definitely want to put some something in front of you. So again, you can compare apples to apples. Is that fair? Okay. Listen to me. Can you kill this objection right now? Yes or no? Yes. Well, you're not though. Well, you followed me in, didn't you? No, no, because I did that. No, 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 he didn't close me, guys. Listen, I know that it's cute, but my point is, I said, okay, now I'm inside, now what happens? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Every one of you, if you think you can get someone to follow you to your desk, if that makes you a closer, that is not a closer. You're handing out business cards. That's actually an order taker. I should put an orange vest on you, mm -hmm. right? Because you're just giving out business cards. You're a tour guide. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. I need you to close me. Now, what am I need you to close me on? to get on this write-up sheet, right. am I right? Yes. And what did he say? Hey, let me give you some numbers, let me give you some numbers, let me give you some numbers, let me give you some numbers. What do we need to do? We need to say something that allows them to not think about these other cars and actually focus on our deal. Would you guys agree? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Is there something that could be said, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Who knows it? Mm -hmm. I, I got a whole- I, I got an idea. Good, let's go. Let's try it, let's try it. Uh, hey man, most people who say that to me normally just don't, it's something they don't like. Is there anything particular that's stopping you from moving forward right now? Did you get no, you didn't level with me? No? Yeah, you're good. I like okay. the car. I just want to see these other two before I make a final decision. I understand. I understand. So, so um, I mean, that was, I thought that was my clothes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, listen to me. Who wants to be a master closer? Raise your hand. Come on. Let's go, baby. Man, you guys must not love this. Josh, is this, is this it? <laughs> mm -hmm. is, do you guys, are you guys wanting this? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Everybody, you want to be trained right now? Yes. yes. You want to be trained to be a killer? Definitely. Yes. You want to get anybody to say anything that you want them to say by like just having the right words? Yes yeah. or no? Yes. Yes. I can make him say yes to me every single time. Mm -hmm. If I could teach you to do it, would you do the training? Yes. 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 Most of you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a sad thing. Most of you wouldn't. You know why? Because I've taught this on YouTube and it's free. Mm -hmm. And you still don't I'm so wired up that I'm going to arm I know. I know. I know. But listen to me. But you can't arm wrestle your customers. You're going to have to use your words to communicate. By the way, what is a master closer? Yeah. A master communicator. Yep. Am I right, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, so listen to me. I'm going to communicate with him. Everybody say future expectations. Future, future expectations. expectations. Josh, I'm going to use a funnel, and I'm going to funnel him down. He's going to go inside with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to hit him with the deal. Hey, if I can get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? Tell me you got a couple more cars to go look at. I have a couple more cars to look at. Hey, I totally understand. Are the vehicles similar to the one that me and you just looked at or completely different? Which Com one? Completely different. They're completely different. I ain't done my job right. I say, my bad, man. You're so cool, dude. I wouldn't even listen to you, Daryl. Let's go back to the lot. Because okay. I ain't done my job right. right. Does that make sense, Josh? Yes. But they're similar, right? Yeah. They're going to look at other cars. They picked out some economy cars. They're going to go look at them all. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? So what are most people doing? They're going to go look at cars that are similar to the one that you just looked at with them. But I ask them that question. Are the cars you're going to look at similar to the one that me and you just looked at or completely different? Which one? Why? Because I need to know what I'm talking about. 
right? Right. Tell me they're similar. They're similar. Similar. Okay, Daryl, cool, man. Hey, hypothetically, Daryl, hypothetically, mm -hmm. let's say you'd already gone and seen all those other vehicles. I don't care if there's two of them or ten of them. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Let's say you drove them all, right? Yeah. And then my beautiful 2018 Nissan Altima right here, the pearl white one, black leather, um, sunroof, 38,000 miles. We're going to act like it was the last one you went and seen. After seeing every single car, Daryl, mm -hmm. in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal, or the great deal that the dealership was willing to give you? Which one, Daryl? I'm looking for the best deal. It's going cool. to be the deal. Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when. And the win's when the deal's right, right? Right. Cool. So if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset at me at all? Not at all. Thanks, sir. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to take his ass inside. <laughs> what did I do? Watch. Ready? Did everybody see the funnel? Yeah. yeah. Did I take control? Yes. Did he do whatever I wanted? Yes. Did I guide the conversation? Yes. Did I make sense? Yes. Do I know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Have I practiced it? Mm -hmm. Do I need to think about what to say at the time I need to say it? Mm -hmm. Am I a machine? Yes. Do you want to be a machine? Yes. Yes. It's going to take a spiral notebook, a pen, and a piece of paper. It's going to take hours of practicing. It's going to take you to literally tattoo it on your heart. If you can't do this, you don't want to earn that top 1% money that I was talking about a minute ago. Yep. You know what I can do? How long you been selling for? Eight years. Eight years. What do you earn a year? Doesn't matter. Just give me a number. 150, 100. 250, well, how much? 120. 120. I can take a salesman, give me a new guy. Who's a new guy in here? Who's a new guy? No, no, who's the newest guy in the room? Are you Brandon? How old are you? Yeah, well, I'm 27. No, no, how long have you been no. selling for? <laughs> oh, no. He's only been here a month. Son of a Oh, Robin He's like, I've been doing it for 19 Robin, years. Robin, 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 Robin. Who is the, the, the least? Yeah, in the this industry, guy? Yeah. Are you coachable? Yes. Okay, are you ready? Okay. All right, ready? I want you to, can you, can you repeat after me? Yes, do what I'm going to do, okay? Say, let's say you had already gone and seen all the other vehicles. Mm -hmm. Say that. Let's say you already went and go look at all the vehicles. No, let's say you had gone and seen all those other vehicles. Let's say you already gone and seen all those other vehicles. Okay, and mine was the last one you went and looked at. And mine was the last one you went and looked at. After seeing all the vehicles. After seeing all the vehicles. In the end. In the end. In the end. In the end. What would be the deciding factor? What would be the deciding factor? On which one you'd probably end up buying. On which one you'd probably end up buying. Would it be the car itself? Would it be the car itself? Regardless of the deal? Regardless of the deal. Or would it be the great deal the dealership's willing to give you? <laughs> Oh, will it be the great deal the dealership is willing to give you? Which one? Which one? What do you think they'll say, Josh? Mm -hmm. Great deal. Great deal. Say, cool. Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy. It's not a matter of if you're going to buy. But when. But when. And the when. And the when. Is when the deal's right, right? When the deal's right, right? Cool. Cool. So if I could save you some time and money. So if I can save you some time and money. Would that offend you in any way at all? Would that offend you in any way at all? No. No. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> Did I just train him? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> This is how you make killers. And by the way, I want to tell you guys something real quick, okay? You guys may say, like, I'm a showman and I'm up here doing this. Dude, I sold cars with you guys. I sold 70 to 80 cars a month. I am you, you yep. are me. Yep. You know what I was? My mom left when I was two. Five brothers and sisters, Jerry Springer shit show. I stuttered at 18. I was a loser. I thought very poorly of myself. My dad said, get a job, stay out of jail. And you know what I found at 18 years old? I found an opportunity. I found a level 10 earning opportunity and it was selling cars. Mm -hmm. And you know what my manager told me? He told me that if you can become the top 1% in the world, which is going to be this, most salespeople can't even overcome objections. They've been in the business for 20 or 30 years. Mm -hmm. Most salespeople, they literally, their managers are their babysitters. And mm -hmm. instead of them being their leaders and actually leading them and helping them make more money, they have to do their job for them. They're salespeople assistants and not managers. They're actually babysitters because the salespeople don't train. Yep. He goes, if you want to become the best, you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to train. It's called self-improvement. In other industries, it's actually uh, thought of to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. If you're in the real estate business and you go tell people you're going to a real estate convention to train, you know what they do? They say, oh my God, man, you're so smart. Mm -hmm. You know what they say in the car business when you tell them you're going to train? Ah, yeah. oh, that's stupid, man, you're an idiot. Mm -hmm. You guys get it? Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. I don't need any help. I'm a loner. You'll be seeing my name on posters. You could call me.